opinion as long as it's not insulting or hurtful. Our goal is to practice using a strong voice that does not go up at the end of a sentence. Another goal is to not use yeah or so yeah at the end of a sentence. So yeah. Um, <laughs> just kidding. Please welcome Tamar and Ruby. Woo! So, hi, I'm going to give a speech that I made for my English class about moving. <laughs> moving. What a short word with such a meaning. Moving. Moving houses, moving schools, moving cities, and moving countries. Moving. Moving on, moving from your comfort zone, and starting a new chapter in your life. Moving. What does it mean? It means that now you have another home. On the 30th of July, 2017, I moved from Israel to France without knowing what to expect. I moved to a new house, a new school, a new country. I had to make new friends, speak English in my school, and also learn French. But that is not all. Moving to Paris had changed my life. It made me be more thankful for the things I have. It made me look at myself differently. It basically made me who I am now. I learned that I actually like living in different places. It makes my life more interesting. Moreover, I like how moving challenges me, how I get to have friends from all over the world, how I get to learn more about other cultures, and how moving brings me even closer to my family. I've lived in six different places in my life, yet I'm only 12. And living in a new place is sometimes hard too. I remember that in my first week of school in ASP, I felt disconnected. It was hard fitting in when people already knew each other and when they spoke a different language. But the more time passed, the more I was open to new people, a new school, a new country, and a new experience. I wanted to end this with some words that kids in ASP told me about moving to a new place. Exciting. Hard. Challenging. Nerve-wracking and life-changing. Thank you.